I would have gone to perhaps a bigger university with a bigger nightlife. I think I would change that. I would go to more and join more societies earlier on so I could establish myself um, rather than get involved in second and third year when people have already been established and they're doing better. For example, the Drama Society, it would have been much more beneficial to have joined in the first year. However, I'm very pleased that uh, the variety of things I've joined. So. Hi, I'm Sean. If I could change one thing, it would be getting to know, of course, more about USU in my first year and getting to know more about my Goodrick College JCRC in the first year. Uh, if I change one thing about my student experience, then I think it would be I've likely done language course when I was here because now I'm kind of looking out towards the world of work and they're saying, What additional skills do you have? And I'm like, oh, I have. I don't have any languages. It's really disappointing because I'd like to have done Chinese or something. I had that on my CV to leave with. I'm Charlotte and I'm from Goodwick as well. I would definitely change our first year lectures. We had five lectures a week or so and then I could And that was a bit of a down on the first year. My personal university experience, I would have definitely done a different degree. One with more contact hours because I feel like I'm not getting my money's worth. But um, one of the best things about university for me was joining the societies, was joining YSTV and meeting all the different people that have a, gaining new experiences and obviously the Willow, 4am, any day of the week, love that and uh, that's about it really. <laughs> I'm Lucy and I'm from Goodrick and I would give us more money. Um, Getting involved earlier, especially in sports, um, because I, I meant to, but I never really got around to it. I think it would have really helped with fitness um, and healthy living in general throughout the three years. So. <laughs> um, I'm Lauren, I'm from Goodrick, I would also give more money and living class I'd have probably asked for help more when I needed it, and maybe done a little more exercise, because my weight fluctuated during my time here. <laughs> I would have preferred the university to have a better sports department. Sweet. If I could change one thing, it would be definitely get involved in year one. I only got involved in year two and I missed out on everything in year one. So I'd say get involved in year one and get involved in everything that's what you need. My name's Josephine Brayshaw and if I could change one thing, it would be to have got involved sooner. Uh, I was very active at school and then when I first came to university uh, I didn't sign up to things that I really would have liked to have pursued. Um, once I did, I started enjoying things and getting involved and meeting more people um, and I've enjoyed my university life as a result of that. Um, I would have liked to have got involved in a few things earlier um, but also I would have liked um, to have had more support in actually not so much logging, but making sure I was taking note of all the extracurricular things that I was doing, um, as when it comes to job applications and you are looking back at things that you've done, um, it's a very difficult thing to actually remember the specifics. Um, so when I'm talking about saying, I was Kids Club Coordinator, um, no one's interested, they want to know what I did, how I did it, why I did it, and I think taking more of a record, but also being given a bit more steer to actually be remembering and recording as I was doing stuff is something I would really have changed about my student experience. Hi, I'm Natu. I'm in the group. Uh, one thing that I would change about my ex uh, student experience would be uh, you know, to have done a lot more in, in the, during the first year, to have more information, more societies, more, uh, more events, and uh, that's about it really. Um, for me personally, I wish I'd got involved in societies earlier. I didn't really know what was available for me at university. I sort of went into university with a very uh, straight, narrow viewpoint of what I wanted and, and it turned out that actually after about six months, after a few terms, that wasn't what I wanted. And I, I wish I'd been more aware of, of that, un that university wasn't just sort of an academic and a social, but it was that you know, aspect to it, but that beyond it, you could develop yourself as a person and I think that's a really important aspect of university and that's why when I when I people talk about union politics and things like that and they take it quite seriously I get a bit I think that is important but I get a bit disheartened when people say it's only about the serious stuff and that actually it really matters because I think to a certain extent 
it is on a, such a micro scale union politics that we should we should encourage more joke candidates and more fun motions to just make the serious aspects of union politics that people might not necessarily care about. These become more accessible when they are sort of slightly jovial and I think that was seen in this latest speech. I think the, the main thing that stuck out has been the mockery of politics that uh, students have made while I've been at university. Um, you know, the students voted in the pirate captain for one who had the most recent UGM motion uh, to change the quiet place to the bright place and quiet place. I don't think it's exactly that, but uh, it just seems like uh, students in general are mocking politics at, at the student level, which is eventually going to filter through to mainstream politics and then just going to kind of a disaster, really. So it's, that is the only thing that's really stuck out to me, and that's the only thing I would want to change. On a more sort of broad scale, I, uh, I think I'd encourage people to get involved in societies more and, and make that easier and, and really encourage and show people the benefits of being involved in union societies and how much that beyond their degree perhaps involvement in societies can make them more employable. I think that um, there could be more relationships between the subjects we do and the societies because I think that lots of them could be interlinked and the funding could be better used for societies and supports. Um, I'm Danielle and I'm a third year and I think the one thing I would change about my student experience would be having a 24 hour Willow experience any night of the week. <laughs> and Willow, Willow's a really good place for students because it is really cheap when you get in and drinks are so cheap and everyone loves it so it would be really good if the union could organise something with them. And there's nowhere else in the world that the Willow exists. Yeah, so people, it, more people need to know about the and Willow. And it's completely unique and like you can just have so much fun, like what would you do on a usual night of the Willow? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even go. <laughs> So we could help. And we've we got contacts, so we have contacts to help the union. So I urge you to make this one of your. <laughs> I would have better tutoring opportunities on campus. So uh, I really struggled with maths in my degree. So I would have loved if there were uh, possibilities of basically uh, either students who were the years above me when I was in lower years or even uh, postgrads um, or even lecturers uh, able in whether it was free or not it was just more the chance for one-on-one -on -one tuition because uh, there's a lot of things I just didn't understand uh, I didn't uh, my, partly my fault as well I didn't really understand the jump between a level and degree so I would have loved a bit more help when I got here and found certain things really difficult academically I wish the departments would be more accountable for if they screw up their students' modules because I've ended up doing a module I don't actually want to do as a result. It would have to be contact hours. I mean, I study history and the contact hours we have are absolutely kind of a bit of a disgrace really considering the fact we pay the same amount as a, as a course which has full days worth of lectures and seminars and everything. And also considering the fact that people will say, well actually you're paying for the library, the library resources aren't that good either. Um, but apart from that, generally it would just be sort of more advertising from UCN, from the university about ways for people to get involved. Um, and one last thing, particularly personal, I think that YSTV should get half of the UC grant money. Um, <laughs> purely because, uh, as you can see, we're, we're very professional and I bet you that this is the best lit piece in this film. Um, so go UC, or don't go UC, depending on political persuasion. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Um, probably my timetable because I have one day off but most of my other days consist of like three lectures in a row and no breaks. I'd say better support for combined class students. I'm a lit linguist and it wasn't until near the end of my third year that the two sides actually come together. So uh, I would change the amount of supervisor meetings I have because I don't think that's enough in my course.